And so Peter has experienced this vision of this sheet that's come down from heaven with all of these unclean animals. The Spirit of God has said to him, Peter, rise, slay, and eat. And Peter said, no, I've never uh, touched anything that was unclean or common. And, and the Spirit of God said, what I have cleansed, let no man call unclean or common. Words has literally changed humanity. The very words that Joel had prophesied when he said that this is for all flesh. And now this is becoming a reality to Peter. But he's saying, he says, Lord, what does all this mean? And about that time, there came a knocking on the door. You see, see how the hand of God works. It's just a beautiful thing. Just to watch God bring together his plan. And so here are these servants of Cornelius. And they're saying, uh, is there somebody here by the name of uh, Simon Peter? And they said, well, yeah. And so they brought him up and they began to tell Peter what had happened to a man by the name of Cornelius who was not a Jew and how that the angel of God had come to him and had said to him, you're faithful and I want to be a part of your life and I want you to be a part of my life. And this is what God is saying to all people everywhere. Folks, there are spiritual things happening all around you. We live in a spiritual world. There's the activity of God, whether you know it or not. It's there. It's happening. Now, here's a fascinating thing to me. When this came to Peter, it wasn't an angel. It wasn't an angel. It just simply says in the scripture that the Spirit of God spoke to Peter and said, go with these men and just be obedient. You see, this is, this is the thing that I want to bring to the understanding of those who would denounce God and denounce spiritual things. It's possible for all humanity to have a revelation of God because you have the capability within you because you are spiritual. God created you and God breathed the breath of life in you. But see, we know that there's also opposition and it's also spiritual, but it's a spirit of darkness. And it's the spirit that's trying its best to keep you blinded to where you cannot see and understand and comprehend spiritual things about you. But what well, we also know that the forces of righteousness and the power of God is stronger than the power of darkness. And God wants to remove those blinders from the eyes of those who are not able to see. And when God moves those blinders away, the possibilities becomes incredible. That the ability to see God and the kingdom of God and the spirit of righteousness and the spirit of Christ and the spirit of the Holy Spirit. And that's, that's possible to you and to all who would open their eyes to see. It's Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.